ugly puss, bad girl, Jim. Two young lions, that's the lot. Two young lions, that's the lot. Had a good trip, Buana? Could have been worse. Here, mark a lion for what for the circus owner. What for the circus owner? He called here, Buana? In a couple of weeks, Buana. I gotta find some elephant for him sooner Buana. or later. Buana! Zuri Leo? You don't go Zuri, Buana. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's Ugly Puss doing, loose? Ugly Puss lonely, Buana. Lonely? New vets say Ugly Puss need company. Don't be silly. Sam, get a hold of that chain. I don't want to see him loose again. If you want him as a pet, keep him tied. This new vet, Buana. Yeah, I want to see him. Odongo, go and get him. Ugly puss, Buana. Go and get the vet. Okay? Okay, Buana. There you are. That's for you, Ugly puss. Don't be lonely, Ugly puss. You uh, like the new vet? Very good vet, Buana. Very highly commendable. Very sweet. Huh? Interesting. The sun been bothering you lately, Bawa? Injia! Injia babafu! Injia! Injia babafu! Takiri wa fanyini! Quinn, close the gates! Walla, how many times do I have to tell you about handling the animals? What good do they to me if they're injured or marked up? Maybe you tell me again, Buana. I forgot. You forgot? Well, go and forget someplace else. You're fired. Bawa! I'm here, Buana. Give Udongo kiss, Aklipus. Good girl. Bauer, find out what's holding up the vet. And Hassan, pay Wall off. I don't want him around. Wall is very bad help, Buana. Also very bad man, Buana. That's why he's fired. Get him off the farm. Time you did something about these pens. They're falling apart. Well, where's the vet? Vet busy come later, Buana. Well, what do you know? Big interruption prevent explanation, Buana. Regrettable to say that new vet. For Pete's sake, what goes on? Adam, Colby, why aren't you working? Bauer, I hold you responsible. What is this? Doctor advised rest after stab with needle, Buana. Oh, did he? Well, get back to your jobs. Pacey, Pacey! The bark of Buana is worse than his bite. <laughs> this I read in English book. There you are. Next, please. Mr. Stratton? That's right. Funny, I, I'd imagined you with a beard. No, I have no beard. This is a little out of my line, but rather necessary. By the way, you been done lately? Done. Inoculated. Oh, uh, as a matter of fact... I know, was... you haven't given it a thought. Most people don't, unless they're reminded. Pull up your sleeve, will you please? Would you uh, mind explaining exactly... This yellow fever about 30 miles from Rumuruti. This won't hurt a bit. There. Lay off the scotch for a few hours and you'll be right as rain. Oh! I'm sorry I didn't introduce myself. I'm Dr. Muir, Dr. P.J. Muir, your new vet. Oh. I'm from Pittsburgh. Do you know Pittsburgh? No, I don't know Pittsburgh. Oh, well, I, I replaced Dr. Malcolm yesterday. I must say he was rather surprised to see a woman show up. He is not the only one. I was even more surprised to find my boys resting as if they were convalescents. I'm sorry. They must have taken me literally. I just told them to take it easy for a while. They do that normally. Now, let's get this straight, Dr. Muir. I asked Dr. Malcolm to engage a relief for himself before he left. When I said relief, I didn't mean a woman. I expected a man experienced in this type of work. I can assure you about the experience. It's all right here. We're living in the bush. I don't want the responsibility of a woman on the place. Dr. Malcolm should have realized that. 
Would you please read what's in the envelope? I'll read it, sure, but it won't make any difference. Don't blame Dr. Malcolm. After all, good vets don't grow on trees, you know. You're good, huh? Yes, very. And modest. He did say you probably wouldn't approve at first. They're very impressive. I'm just sorry you had to take such a long trip for nothing. Naturally, I'll pay your expenses, but I'll have to ask you to stay here until I can find someone to take your place. It may take a few days. Now, if you're through inoculating the boys, I'd appreciate it if you came out and looked at the animals I just brought in. Go, 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 Cop, 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 cop. Cop, cop. Cop, 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 cop. Where are you, Trigger? Goodbye, giraffe. Goodbye. Hi there, Jimmy. Hi, Soto. Come on. Here's your food. Where's your turn, boys? <laughs> Sorry? Sorry! <laughs> Monty, come on, Monty. Good boy. That's a good boy. How do you feel today, Miss Katie? Are you okay? I'm okay too. Come on, Thoma. Come on. Come on. Come on. You play with our clippers? You do. You're good, do you? You want to pull our clippers? No. Our clippers, no. I'm no time to play with you now. No, our clippers. No, no, our clippers. You play with Thoma. Thank you, Hassan. You hungry too? Don't fight. <laughs> You've come back, Missy? You not go away like that. You good girl, Missy. You stay here. Here's your food, Johnny. Don't grab, Johnny. Wake up, Nan. Here's your dinner, Missy. Hey, Peter. Why you growl like that? Oh, don't go. You and Hassan say bad things about me to Guana. When I see bad things. You glad I go? Watch your wanna, watch your wanna, watch your wanna, watch your wanna. Hola. I should have got rid of him months ago. If you see him around again, let me know. Adongo. Yes, Buana. You better wash up before dinner. 
But, Boomer... You heard me. You can't wait to tell me with those hands. Wash. My, <laughs> don't we look smart. Well, what's this? Elephant hair, Missy. Good for luck. I can use some of that. Thank you. One of the octopus has to stay on chain, Missy. Yes, I know he told me. I'm afraid he's made up his mind, Odongo, but I'll keep working on him. But he best one in all Kenya. Oh, I'm sure of it. But Aklipus no like it. Aklipus no good to stay on chain. She has no one to talk to her. Animals don't talk. Oh, but they have feelings. Yeah. Especially chimps. Mind you, I'm not exactly a fanatic on the Darwin theory. I do think they have certain human qualities. Or vice versa. Don't you think so? Don't you? Yes, of course. What I mean is they, they have a language all their own. And, well, if we could understand them, they'd probably have a lot more interesting things to say than we do. Don't you think? Water. <laughs> Why animals no talk, Juana? They have nothing to say. They make noise, Juana. Just talking, okay? It's time we sent you to school. Get some of that foolishness out of your head. School, Juana. School like chain, Juana. Aklipus no like stay on chain, Juana. That's where she's going to have to stay, so she might as well get used to it. Have you been out here very long? Uh, Fifteen years. Fifteen years? My, that is a long time. Oh, yeah. yeah. I had an aunt once. Oh, really? She lived in Kenya, too. Oh, she was from Pittsburgh. Oh. oh. She was a wonderful person. Yeah. Always ready with a smile. Beans, Mr. Stratton. Thanks. I uh, imagine you miss Dr. Malcolm. I do. When do you think the new man will arrive? As soon as possible. I won't keep you here any longer than I have to. <laughs> Don't worry about me. I'm enjoying every minute of it. What's the matter with you, Adongo? I'm OK, Werner. Everything ready, Werner. Miss you good friends, Buana. Yeah. Come on, Lulu. Does Anne tell you why I want you? Yes, Buana. Where you send Lulu? To a zoo in Tokyo. And that's where I'm sending Ugly Puss if I find her off a chain again. That's your final warning. Okay. Come on. That's a girl. Here we go. Here we go. Cage good and clean now, Missy. Oh, that's much better, Bowen. Tell him to keep it that way, will you? Yes, Missy. Take the jet for me. Gucci Katie. Kula Chikula. Chikula Katie. Hello, sweetheart. How is the leg this morning? Wanna look after Katie a long time. Soon she walk well. Sure. We'll have him running in the Kentucky Derby next year. <laughs> Bunga Bongo. Shake a comba. Bye, Miss Lulu. Watu. Kusha Hopper. Bye, Miss Lulu. Uko. Wendy. Wendy. Crazy, crazy. 
Bongo Bongo. Wind up. Well, how's Ugly Puss this morning, Adongo? Ugly Puss very lonely, Missy. This she told me before breakfast. Maybe we can find her a husband. Okay, Mim Sal. Okay. Haraka, Haraka. Wendy. Face it, face it. Bye, Mr. Be a good girl, Miss Lulu. Goodbye. Bye, Miss Lulu. Miss Lulu, go on, Uncle Poos. Hello, you old scoundrel. What's new? Not a thing. You vet, old man. Take a good look. I don't kid myself you came here to see me. What about an introduction? Won't do any good. She's leaving. Leaving? Oh, come on, Stratton. I'm running an animal farm, not a beauty parlor. I'm trying to replace her. Do you know anybody? I'm not saying a word. I guess that's the lot, it's on. Thank you, Missy. These are all ready to go, Mr. Stratton. Have you signed the certificates? No, not yet. Dr. Muir, this is Mr. Keith, the game warden. Delighted. How do you do, Mr. Keith? Sorry to hear you're leaving us so soon. We'll have to talk her out of that one, Stratton. I'm afraid Mr. Stratton doesn't approve of women. What? That I didn't say. Better not say it in front of me. You know why Stratton doesn't keep wolves on the farm, don't you? No, I'm afraid not. Too much competition. Keith, uh, come on over to the office. Well, yeah, I want you to help me with the licenses. Elephant, I need them for Watford. Oh, the circus chap. You'll like Watford, won't you? I'll see you in a minute, Keith. See you later, Doctor. He's a pretty good guy, but he's got a warped sense of humor. Oh, I think he's charming. Yes? By the way, Mr. Stratton, we'll need some supplies from the village. Could I borrow your jeep this afternoon? Sure. Hassan, drive Missy up to the Duca this afternoon, will you? Yes, Juan. We need quite a few things for the trip. Trip? I understand you're going out again. I'm going out, sure. Well, obviously, you'll need your vet with you. Oh, I will? And one other thing, Mr. Stratton. Some of these cages are pretty bad. Could be because you've always employed men. They're not as particular as women. Really? Really. Anyway, I've left strict orders about them. You're giving orders? Purely in the interest of hygiene. Hygiene? And as long as I'm here, I shall continue to give orders. I'll sign your certificate. Thank you. These are all right, old boy. Send me a copy and I'll return it with my blessing. I'm okay to operate at Cooey, huh? Sure. That's where I'll head for then. What about that guy you were chasing up, Bauer? Guy Buona? Vet. Oh, very good vet Buona. When does he get here? No can come. Why not? Vet died last Tuesday. What a figure. Why, she's gorgeous, and you're going to give her the sack. I don't know what you're worried about, old boy. Take your mind off it. Bauer, get my things ready. We're leaving tonight. We, Buona? We. Go tell Missy Doctor she can come with me. Tell the dongo I'll take him, too. Chaperone, eh? You cunning old scoundrel. Strictly business, old boy. If I know women, this one will be packing your grip in one day. And, Baba, you better get somebody or you'll find yourself doing the job. Long enough for the boys to catch up? Would I have time to, uh... Take a photograph? Sure. <laughs> yes, thank you. Oh! Groundhoppers, locusts, they won't eat you. You guarantee it? Sure, they're strictly vegetarians. Wanna like Mr. Doctor? Sure, I like everybody. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Oh! <laughs> okay. Oh, it certainly was not okay. Bye. Get in. I'm 
want to tell you, Mrs. Don't Stark. be on the way. You have some nurse on you. Oh! Depends how we get on at Wadji. Oh. I'm hoping to get some a copy. What's no copy? That's a rare specimen of the deer family. I've been looking for one for months. We'll probably camp sometime tomorrow night. Tomorrow night? With luck. Oh, you're slacking off, aren't you? My mother always used to say, never put too much of a strain on yourself. A wonderful woman, Mother. Always ready with advice. Yeah. Yeah. Pick out the leader. Okay? Okay. Think of the rules. Feel wind, feel balance. Feel nothing. Feel nothing. Now take off the safety. Take off the safety. Don't look at me. Take it off. Take aim. Squeeze it off. Gently. You stupid idiot! What did you do that for? Sorry, Buana. Sorry, my foot. That was a deliberate miss. Udonga, sorry, Buana. I've got a good mind to send you home. What's eating you? What are you scared of? Maybe the boy just doesn't like shooting animals. We came out here to get meat for the camp. You're not such a bad shot yourself. Why don't you try it? Okay, so the kid makes a living by a gun. But he still happens to love animals. Can you change that? I'm going to change it. All right, go ahead and change it. But stop torturing him now. Torturing? Can't you see the kid's eating his heart out? Even the boys won't talk to him. What do you expect me to do? Go and talk to him yourself. Tell him everything's going to be all right. Be human for once. Memsav. Memsav. Mamsav, Ndungu Yangu, Bwana. Karigani. Ndungu Yangu, Karibu Kufa, Atasa Mutoto. Watcha, watcha. Sina sa Yakus idea. What did he say? His sister's having a baby, but there seem to be complications. Nothing we can do. Adongo, check the gas. We're leaving. Maybe I can help. You're supposed to be the vet, not a midwife. Quayle. Sorry. Quayle, Sina sa Yakus idea. Get the meat in the lorry. Pacey, Pacey. Just a minute. Mr. Stratton. Well? That boy Look, thinks... Dr. Muir, I brought you along so you could help out and because you wanted to come. If you're finding the going rough, I can send you home. Have I beefed about anything? You've beefed about a dango. You've got a beef on now. I can see it coming. Oh, you bet I have. For the sake of an hour or two, you might save a woman's I life. I don't have an hour or two. I'm a businessman, don't you understand? In a few days, the Watfords are arriving. He's an important client. What do you think he's going to say? If, if you leave now, you'll remember that boy's face for the rest of your life. What makes you think so? Because I don't think you're all that tough. But you go ahead, Mr. Stratton. I'm going with the boy. Stay there a minute. Hassan. Looks like trouble, Odonga. Turkana angry, Missy. Shari Gani, huh? Bibi Yamu Mukulio Sana. Mambia Wadu Yaku Usifikir. What's all the excitement about? Oh, nothing. Nothing at all. This guy is Lenny, the woman's husband. They're giving us a friendly warning. 
warning. In case anything happens to the baby. Oh, charming. I hope you've taken your degree in gynecology, Miss Nightingale. I'll tell you later. Simama Yuma. Uh. Asanta, Buona. Asanta. Thank the men, sir. You're going to be all right, honey. A pun of a kitty. I'd like to buy a couple. Whose are they? A oh, copy belonged to my father, Buona. Well, tell him I'll give him uh, 10 pounds each for him. And I'd, I'd like those two and uh, a couple of others if we can make a deal. No, Buona. Why not? A oh, copy not to sell, Buona. Jojo, my mommy. It's a boy. It's a boy, Buona. Well, look, I'll give you 15. Buona, look, baby. Wait a minute. Baby. It's a boy! It's a boy, Buana! It's a boy, Buana! It's a boy, Buana! That's great. Nice, aren't they, Odongo? Beautiful, Buana. Odongo like one. So would Buana. First they threatened to kill us, and then guess what? I have no idea. Then he wanted to give me a present. I didn't like to take it, but I just couldn't hurt his feelings. No. After all, what would I do with an Okapi? Have an Okapi on me, Mr. Stern. Hassan, I want three of the babies. And Adongo, you can stay with the boys and help bring them back to the farm. Asante, Juan, Asante. Misore, Misore! 